Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel NCRD Maths with Pradeep. Today we are continuing our exercise number 1.1 of chapter 1 that is real numbers of grade 10. Our second question is show that any positive odd integer, we need to find odd integer, is of the form 6 cube plus 1 or 6 cube plus 3 or 6 cube plus 5 where q is some integer. So this topic is also covered in our introduction video in which whenever we need to prove certain things using Euclid's division algorithm, we will take this number as b. Because we know that when we apply Euclid's division algorithm on any two numbers a and b, so it can be written as a is equal to bq plus r where q is quotient, r is remainder and the range of r is from 0 to b. So, I have already told you whenever we have to solve these type of question, always check what is the number given here. Okay, so we will divide our given number A with 6. That means we will fix B as 6 and we will assume number A which should be represented in this format. So, what to do is we will say let A be the positive odd integer also let q be the quotient because we should divide and r is the remainder we need to fix b so we will say when we divide a by 6. So that means b we are taking as 6. So by Euclid's division algorithm, a is equal to b b is 6, b q plus r and what is the condition that 0 is less than equals to r is less than b and what is b that is 6, clear? So this is a is equal to b q plus r where b is 6 and r range we have mentioned. So what should be my next step? Now I should check what are the possible values of r. So according to this, Minimum value of r is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It cannot be equal to 6 because r should always be less than 6. So we will write here r equals to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Clear? So now we will put each value of r and solve the corresponding value of a. And we will check whether the given number is odd or even. So first is when r equals to 0. So put it here a is equal to 6 q plus 0. And what is this? That is 6 q. So any number when you multiply with 6 it will be even number only. Suppose we take q as 0. So 6 into 0 is 0. Suppose we take u as 1, 1 into 6 will be 6, again even number. If I take u as 2, that means 6 into 2 is 12, so again even number. That means irrespective of the value of q, 6q will always be an even number. So we will say here, this implies a is even. Okay, next we will put r as 1 a is equal to 6q plus 1. Let's check here. If I put q as 0, so 6 into 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1 and 1 is odd number. Let's put some another value. Suppose 3. So 6 into 3 is 18. 18 plus 1 is 19. Even if I put even value here, 10 suppose. 6 into 10 as 60, 60 plus 1 is 61. Again, 
irrespective of the value of u, 6u plus 1 will always be an odd integer. So this implies a is odd. Okay. So what is the trick here? We will put some numbers of q and check whether the resultant is even or odd. So next is when r equals to 2. So a is equal to 6q plus r. So 6q plus 2. Again put q as 0. So 6 into q is 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Even number. Okay. Or we can say 6q itself is even number we have proved. And when we add 2 in even number, resultant will always be an even number again. Suppose 10, 10 plus 2 is 12, again even number. Or if I put q as 10, 6 into 10 is 60, 60 plus 2 is again even number. So we will write a is even integer. Okay. Let's put another value. r equals to 3. So a is equal to 6q plus 3. Okay. So again 6q is even number. When we add 3 it will always result in odd number. Or q as 0. 6 into 0. 0. 0 plus 3 is 3. 3 is an odd number. 6 into 1. 6. 6 plus 3. 9. Again odd number. So randomly you can put any value of q and see the resultant is even or odd. So here a is odd integer. Let's put next value that is when r equals to 4. So then this is 6q plus 4. Again in any even number if you add 4 resultant will always be even number. Or you can put any value in this q and check a will always be even number. So a is even integer. And last is when r equals to 5. So a is equal to 6q plus 5. So again even number plus an odd number will result in odd number. So q is 0, 6q is 0, 0 plus 5, 5. This is odd. q is 1, 6 into 1 is 6, 6 plus 5 is 11. Again odd. So similarly you can see irrespective of the value of q we will always get odd number. So here it is a is odd number. Clear? So now we can say that out of these values let's see when a is even and when a is odd. So first even is when r equals to 0. We can say when a equals to what is this format that is 6q or a equals to next even is this. So 6q plus 2 or next even is this 6q plus 4. Whenever a is of this format a is even number. Okay, but our target is odd number. So we can say if A is of this format 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5, it will always result in odd number. Okay, so we can write when A is odd, it should be of the form So let's check. First is 6q plus 1. Or next is for odd this is 6q plus 3. Or third is 6q plus 5. And this is what is needed that for odd integer it should be of the form 6q plus 1, 6q plus 3 or 6q plus 5. So we have proved it here. In the last you can say hence proof. Clear? I hope you understood what we have done. Simply you will check this number 
okay and take b as this number whatever is given to you we will see in our next questions whenever number is bigger okay like 9 and 10 and so on then no need to put so many values because whatever value we will put we have to expand r accordingly so in smaller numbers we will put b as this number given to us and apply euclid's division algorithm write it in the form of a is equals to b q plus r find the possible values of r substitute each value of r and find the value of a whatever value you will get then you will check with your given condition whether it is odd or even and in the last you can justify that for odd numbers this is the format for even numbers this is the format so i hope question number second is clear to you this is all about this video see you in my next video with the next question of this exercise thank you